Hello my class 10 students. This is class 10 ICC Maths board paper of 2022 which was today and I am sure you are wondering about the answer key. So here is our section A solved for you of this ICSC semester 2 Maths examination of 2022. Section A consists of 10 marks and it has 10 MCQs. So we have question 1, the first one. The probability of getting a number divisible by 3 in a throwing a dice is. Now, divisible by 3 means you can have number 3 and 6. This you can actually write in your rough column or you can do in your mind. And the total outcomes are going to be 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? So, we will have probability the favorable upon the total that is 2 upon 6 means it is 1 upon 3. So, the first answer is 1 upon 3 that is answer B. The second part, the volume of the conical tent is 462 meter cube and the area of base is 154. So, for the working column, you will say that the volume is equal to 1 third pi r square h. Now volume is 462 is equal to 1 third multiplied by pi r square is the area of the base. So don't substitute 22 upon 7 here. So 154 multiplied by h. So our h will be equal to all this comes this side. So 462 into 3 upon 154. Now can you see 4, 3 is 12 and 15, 3 is 45 and that carried over 1. So this is going 3 times. So our height is 9. So our answer is C. That is 9 meter, not centimeter. The third one, the median class of the given distribution. Now you have 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30 and 30 to 40 with these frequencies. So you will have to write cumulative frequencies. So, cumulative frequencies will be 2, 6, 9 and 14. Now, total is 14 which means our median is going to be n upon 2th term which is 7th term plus n upon 2 plus 1th term that is the 8th term upon 2. So, our median will be 7th term, 8th term up to 6 is this class interval and the 7th and 8th and 9th term they are here in this class interval. So this becomes our median class. So where is 20 to 30? Here. So the option is C. That is 20 to 30. Next one, fourth one. If two lines are perpendicular to one another, then the relation between their slopes is m1, m2 equal to minus 1. Correct? Where is it? Here. So the option is D, that is this. Let us come to the fifth one. The lighthouse is 80 meter high and the angle of elevation of its top from a point 80 meter away. So this also is 80 meter and from here we are looking up to the top. So this is your angle of elevation from the foot along the same horizontal line is. So we need to find out theta. Now do we know tan theta will be 80 upon 80 that is 1 and tan of 45 degrees is 1. So our angle of elevation is going to be 45 that is B. Number 7. The modal class of the given distribution always corresponds to. Now the class which will have the mode the mode means the interval with the highest frequency. Where is highest frequency here? None of these are pertaining to that. So the answer is A. Let us look at our seventh one. Coordinates of point P minus 3 comma 5 on reflecting in X axis. Now when it is reflected, it will become let us say P dash and this X remains the same and Y will change the sign. So where is minus 3 and minus 5 here? So the option is B. Look at our 8th one. ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. If angle BAD is 2x plus 5 and angle BCD is x plus 10, 
then x is equal to now what do you know about the opposite angles of the cyclic quad they are supplementary correct so this is going to give us 180 degrees so add the x's 3x plus 15 equal to 180 degrees so 3x will be equal to 180 minus 10 that is 170 and subtract 5 so 165 degrees so x is going to be equal to 165 upon 3 so 3 will go 5 times 15 remain 1 again 5 times so our x is equal to 55 degrees which is option c the ninth one a 1 comma 4 b 4 comma 1 c x comma 4 are the vertices of triangle a b c if the centroid of the triangle is g 4 comma 3 then x is equal to now x is your x coordinate so i will take the x coordinate of g which is 4 and i will write it as 1 plus 4 plus x upon 3 see here this x coordinate this x coordinate and this x coordinate because our centroid is x1 plus x2 plus x3 upon 3 and y1 plus y2 plus y3 upon 3 so we get 12 equal to 5 plus x and 5 goes there x is equal to 7 so the option is 7 that is c the radius of a roller 100 centimeter long is 14 centimeter so we have the roller which is like so and the radius is 14 centimeter and from here to here this is 100 centimeter now curved surface area will be 2 pi r h so c s a will be 2 pi r h so that will give us 2 into 22 upon 7 into radius is 14 and h is 100 so we will have 7 going twice here now this is 44 into 288 so we have 8800 centimeter square and that is our option D and that finishes our section A. Now soon I'll be uploading section B also. So just keep watching out for that. In the meantime, I hope that all of you have understood how this was to be done. I hope all of you got full marks. And those who are in 9th going to 10th, you can solve this as a practice paper and write in the description how much you score out of 10. Pause the video whenever you want and then you can solve it on your own and then check the answers with mine. Okay, focus on your next papers now. In the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy. Bye.